To you, Lord, I cried, to my God I made appeal. What profit would my death be, my going to the grave? Can dust give you praise or proclaim your truth? The Lord listened and had pity. The Lord came to my help. For me, you have changed my mourning into dancing. You removed my sackcloth and girded me with joy. So my soul sings psalms to you in season. O oh Lord my God, I will thank you forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. You have sorrow now, but I will see you again, and your hearts will rejoice. Father, keep them in your name, that they may be one. Praise be to God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has bestowed on us in Christ every spiritual blessing in the heavens. God chose as in him before the world began to be holy and blameless in his sight. He predestined us to be his adopted sons through Jesus Christ. Such was his will and pleasure that all might praise the glorious favor he has bestowed on us in his beloved. In him and through his blood we have been redeemed and our sins forgiven. So immeasurably generous is God's favor to us. God has given us the wisdom to understand fully the mystery, the plan he was pleased to decree in Christ, a plan to be carried out in Christ in the fullness of time, to bring all things into one in him, in the heavens and on earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and is to come, now and forever. Amen. Holy Father, keep them in your name, that they may From the letter of James. Do not, my brothers, speak ill of one another. The one who speaks ill of his brother or judges his brother is speaking against the law. It is the law he judges. If, however, you judge the law, you are no observer of the law, you are its judge. There is but one lawgiver and judge, one who can save and destroy. Who then are you to judge your neighbor?
mode 7. will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their throne and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy. The promise he made to our <coughs> fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. with fervent joy. Grant that all who seek the truth may find it, and in finding it may they desire it all the more. Be present to comfort widows, orphans, and all the abandoned, Lord. May they feel close to you and cling to you. Pray for Father John Trez, for Father Nathan, for Kathy Kimar, for all those involved at the Eagle Eye up in Cary, Ohio. They be blessed and full of the Holy Spirit. Uh, for all those suffering from different illnesses, especially for Scott and for Brody. Pray for our alumni Thanksgiving jobs. We continue to pray for the Council of the Prior General who will be held in two weeks, for the brothers who will be ordained this year as deacons and priests. Uh, we pray for the ongoing works that have been 
Gene Chili Heritage for Jeremy Dexter and all the issues he would have to deal to clarify um, the status. Receive our departed brothers and sisters into the heavenly kingdom, where with the Father and the Holy Spirit you will be all in all. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Father, may this evening pledge of our service to you bring you glory and praise. For our salvation you looked with favor on the lowliness of the Virgin Mary. Lead us to the fullness of the salvation you have prepared for us. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. May the divine assistance be always with us. And also with our brothers and sisters. Martyrology of June the 19th, St. Romuald, Abbot, who died at Val de Castro in central Italy in the year of grace 1027, three years after profession, a thirst for God living and present in the desert. He left the Benedictine monastery of St. Apollo Marius in class near his hometown of uh, Ravenna. His personal experiences and the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, who presided in his heart, led him to found a new form of hermetic life at Camaldoli in Tuscany, where he considered as the fulfillment, which he considered as the fulfillment of the ascetical Cenobite, together with Saint Bruno. He is venerated as the father of hermits in the West. In Milan, Italy, the passion of Saints Gervais and Protas who were martyred for their baptismal fidelity. Their bodies were discovered by St. Ambrose on June 19, 386. At Florence, Italy, the year of the Lord, 1341, St. Giuliana Falconieri. She founded the feminine branch of the religious order of the Servites of Mary under the name of Mantellat. Elsewhere, the heavenly birth of numerous other saints whose names are inscribed in the book 